<laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. One month after my scout versus tracer battle, and then this happens. What? Wow! Alright, so for those who didn't see my Scout vs. Tracer fight, this is who I think is going to win. I think Scout is going to win and stomp. And here's why. Tracer can literally only do four things. Shoot pulse pistols, throw a pulse bomb, recall, and then blink. That's it. That's her whole arsenal. Just four moves right there. And three of those things have pretty heavy limits. So her pulse pistols are the only things she can use freely. And she really doesn't have any impressive feats to get stats from either. All we have on her outside of gameplay are like two cinematics and a little backstory video. And from that, her best strength feat is knocking a weapon out of someone's hands, which can't even really be considered a strength feat. I only included that in my episode just to fill up the script and give Tracer at least something. And her best durability feat is like surviving getting blown off the roof from the shockwave of her own pulse bomb, but... That's about it. Luckily, she does have something pretty impressive for speed, like when she reacts to a sniper bullet from Widowmaker and then blinks out of the way in time, but that's about it. Those are literally her only three good feats, and that tiny arsenal, it just doesn't compare to Scout at all. Scout has multiple cinematics, a short movie, and several comics to take info from. He has weapons that can increase his speed, weapons that can increase the damage that he does on opponents by covering them in Mad Milk and stuff, Weapons that can stun the opponent, weapons that can make him invincible for a short period of time, weapons that can increase his jump height, weapons that can increase the number of jumps, and just all the stuff. Now obviously Scout can only hold three weapons at a time. But there are several combinations of three weapons that'll work just fine for defeating Tracer. The Scout loadout I always use is Force of Nature, Flying Guillotine, and the Sandman. You can take out the Heavy in three seconds with this loadout. Just bonk him, hit him with a Flying Guillotine, and then two shots from the Force of Nature will kill any Heavy, even while he's eating a sandwich. And speaking of the big tough Heavy, Scout has actually held his own against the Heavy multiple times. And Scout can even one-shot bears and knock them out. His weapons are also strong enough to destroy machinery and robots, which is very unfortunate for Tracer because she has an important machine right in the open on her chest that she relies on. If that thing gets damaged or destroyed, it's bye-bye for Tracer. Trust me. So there's plenty more strength feats for Scout right there that I just said. As for speed, in the Meet the Scout video, we can see him quick-stepping sentry gun bullets like they're nothing. And when he drinks Bonk Cola, he can outrun just about anything in the game. And he even becomes invincible after drinking this, which is an incredible durability feat. Scout survived being nearly hung by Saxton Hale, he survived being punched by the bear that he knocked out, and he survived four blasts from the soldier's rocket. One knocked him over, and then three hit him at once and blew him away into the medic's office. Not to mention, Scout was already injured before those rockets hit, so that's an even more impressive durability feat. There are also some magic spells Scout gets from the Necronomicon. Some of them let him shoot fireballs, some of them turn him invincible, some heal him. So there's all of that. Hopefully Screw Attack will include the magic too, because it's canon, it's official. Same with the Man vs. Machine upgrades. He can upgrade his weapons to get even better and better, because that's also canon and official, the Man vs. Machine mode. Tracer may have the better technology, but shiny guns doesn't automatically mean better guns. Especially when Tracer's shiny stuff can be damaged by being kicked against a brick wall. Not only that, but in the Invasion update, Scout got a laser pistol, and he can survive several shots from it, so it's not like Tracer's pulse pistols are going to be doing much. The only edge I'd say Tracer has in this battle is in experience, because she is an Overwatch agent, so she's been in lots of fights before. However, that doesn't mean much when her opponent is skilled. Despite being in multiple fights, she failed against Widowmaker in a one-on-one -on -one battle. And Widowmaker doesn't even have half the experience of Tracer. So overall, I think Scout has this in the bag. He has better feats, he has a wider arsenal, and experience doesn't really matter since Tracer lost to Widowmaker. And yeah, while lots of his weapons do have downsides along with the positives, the pluses heavily outweigh the negatives. I mean, I wouldn't mind sacrificing a large clip size for five extra jumps. So if Tracer wins, they better have a super duper duper good excuse other than advanced technology, especially when we've already seen the obvious weaknesses of Tracer's advanced technology. Weaknesses that Scout can easily expose. Oh, and one last thing, please do not spoil the fight for me, for crying out loud. This is, this is my last shot at a prediction. It doesn't matter if I'm right or wrong or anything, I just don't want to be spoiled. For crying out loud, I did these predictions so you guys wouldn't think I'm cheating in my reactions, but now I can't even do the reactions because you guys keep spoiling me before the episode goes up publicly on YouTube on Wednesday. So if I get spoiled again, I'm just going to drop the prediction series so I don't risk getting spoiled for any more episodes. Goodbye. Scout wins. Tracer loses. Pshoom.